Writer's block can affect even the most experienced author. The ideas are in your head, but you just can't seem to get them on the paper. Whether it's preventing you from writing the next great American novel, or if you just need a boost to express yourself, there are ways to get unstuck. Dr. Vijay Ram is an award-winning cognitive scientist, Harvard speaker, best-selling author of the book Clarity on Demand, and the developer of the Ramic Clarity Process. Welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. So writer's block, let's talk first, what is it and how common is it? It's very common. It's any time you have a creative block when you're trying to come up with new ideas, and of course we typically want to write them down. So writer's block is any mental impediment to writing. But the good news is that there's some really easy ways to deal with it, and they fall into three simple categories. And the first category is stimulation. So one of the easiest ways to stimulate your mind is to change locations. Okay. Some place that's interesting, some place that you're not as familiar with, or where the vibe is constantly changing. So, for example, Steven Spielberg says he gets some of his best ideas when he takes drives on the freeway. Director oh. Christopher Nolan says he will take walks to stave off writer's block. It's energizing, it's stimulating, and most of all, it, gives your, it, it changes your frame of mind. This is nice because I know a lot of people will have a dedicated space that they go to, and some t what you're saying is sometimes getting out of that space can change and, and get, get the ideas moving. Exactly, exactly. And in fact, exercise is another stimulation technique. Oh. So um, uh, it's great for clearing the mind, especially when stress is behind writer's block. So uh, Prince Harry and Khloe Kardashian are both big proponents of the mental benefits of exercise. It creates endorphins, which makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. It gives your mind a refresh. Mm -hmm. And many people say they get their best ideas when they exercise. Mm. And that's probably one of the last things that people would think to do right. is to exercise, but, yeah. you're, but it, it does. It, it creates a chemical change that, that can help trigger the brain. Absolutely, yes. All right. So um, another category is simplification, simplifying the task. And one of the best ways to do that, one of the easiest ways to do that, is to simply stop trying to do it so well. <laughs> so this works great for perfectionists. Um, President Barack Obama says, stop obsessing, just get started, then it gets easier. And the late poet Maya Angelou said, she will write the most boring, awful lines, but then the good stuff would come. So the main idea is to just start getting words onto paper. And as Obama says, it's a lot less intimidating when you're not staring at a blank page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In that same vein of, 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 of you know, suggesting that we simplify, do you think sometimes some of us are too hard on ourselves or, or we're trying to edit as we write, which is why we, we're having a hard time getting it all written? All the time. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> so it's going simpler. We can always edit later. Absolutely. Yes, you can. All right. And so um, the third and final category is dealing with the block itself. And one of the best and most powerful ways to do that is to express how you're feeling express the block itself. So um, this can work, it's really great because it can work with some of the toughest cases of writer's block. Eminem and Gwen Stefani both recently dealt with years of writer's block and they both overcame it by describing what they were going through. So Eminem did it with um, writing the song, um, Talking to Myself, and he talked about uh, falling asleep from writer's block in the parking lot of McDonald's. <laughs> and, em, uh, and Gwen uh, did it with uh, What You're Waiting For, and she talked about um, the pressure she was feeling and the voices in her head. And by doing this, both artists were able to open the floodgates to new material. Oh, oh wow. that's a very helpful tool. Um, and I know sometimes if, again, we might not be trying to write a novel, but there might be times in our life where we have to do a business presentation or, or write a speech or a toast at a family event, and it can be the same principles. Yes, exactly. Now, one key thing about expression, the best way to do that is actually with art. But you don't have to be an artist. So, um, you know, even if you're throwing splotches of paint onto paper or you're doodling, it doesn't matter. As long as you're internally connecting with what you're doing, oh. that's the key. Oh, and you'll start to feel better. You'll start to feel better when you do it. But if the block doesn't go away, ask yourself, what have you not said yet? Hmm. What have you not expressed about the block or how you're feeling? And when you get that last piece out, your mind will get bored with the block and it will go on to new thoughts. Oh. Seeing it again and again is very powerful. Wow. Now you say that there is one, one tool we all have in our homes, the, in, in our bathrooms, that can help also uh, express uh, <laughs> writer's block. It's not the one you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> the shower, the shower. Oh. So, so in a recent global survey, 4,000 people, eight countries, 72% said they get new ideas when they take showers. And 14% they said they're willing to take showers just to get new ideas. 
And interestingly, when they were asked what it was about the shower yeah. that um, re was giving them new ideas, um, it fell into three, three, it was split into three answers. One is the tranquility of the experience. The second was the sensation of the water. Right. And the third was simply being alone. Wow. So, Great more recent stuff. big showers. Wow. <laughs> Very helpful for, for anyone who was, who was stuck in any way in, in expressing their creativity. Thank you so much, Dr. Oh, yeah. Ram. Wow. Very nice. For more Thank information you. about Dr. Ram's book, Clarity on Demand, or to learn more about the Ramic Clarity process, you can visit his website, drvjram.com.